like to start with what I know and then work towards what I don't know. I wanted to take the formality of the house and the informality of the woods and kind of make the two combine. I'd like to show you how not to mulch around a tree. It's a step that I see very few landscapers doing. You want to make sure to have variation in your heights. Look at how lovely this is. We just cued the butterfly to come in. How we doing today, folks? I'm happy to say that I've got as much energy this morning that I think I've had all week. Cold is continuing to go away and uh, my voice sounds weird, but I'm not, uh, the runny nose is gone, the sore throat is gone, and I'm just a little bit congested. So hopefully the trend continues, but I, I've got energy and I'm starting the day and that, that's awesome. I forgot how nice that was. Um, before we get too far in, I just want to show you this cool, cool little thing my daughter did this morning. Um, she took this piece of wood and she, uh, these are actually dry erase markers, but she drew this beautiful flower and uh, that's me and that's mom. Uh, there's my daughter and there's my daughter and um, there's my son. Pretty cool. I don't know. That's just, uh, my daughter's big into drawing flowers. I think that's awesome. Um, before we get too far into the video today, I, I want to, now that I'm feeling a little bit better, I do just want to talk a little bit about working in the heat. And the first thing about working in the heat is uh, things don't happen as quickly as they happen when it's not hot. Uh, you get tired quicker, you move slower, it's just a fact of life. So if you're doing a job in the heat, uh, it's going to make a difference. And you know, there's a difference between working in the full sun and the shade. And you know, I know the painting contractors talk about this all the time, but if you can plan your day so you're going to be working in the shade, you know, use the shade to your advantage. And if you have a choice between working in the shade, you know, depending on how the, the sun is moving or not, um, try to work in the shade. Uh, in this house, I've noticed that when the afternoon comes by, I get better shade on the front of the house and the side. So today what we're going to do is we're going to start on this hillside, see if we can get some work done on the hillside. And then later today when I'm starting to uh, get a little bit drained, I'll be working over in the shade. You know, and if you're working full sun, folks, I mean, if it's 85, 90 degrees, you're going to slow down. That's just a fact of life. I can remember there were a couple jobs I did. Um, I used to do paver walkways and you'd be installing a paver walkway. So you're in like a new construction house. You're installing a paver walkway, which is around here, uh, new construction are usually two story colonials. You got the sun beaten off the front of that house in the afternoon. And I can just remember just sweating uh, a lot. Uh, and we would end our day early because you just couldn't work. It was, not only did you have the sun, but you had the sun reflected off the house. It was very hard. The other thing you can do when it's really hot out is, is make sure you have a hat. And, um, you know, the stuff I'm wearing, uh, I'm on YouTube, so I'm wearing my, uh, you know, official shirt and all. But I do have a lighter weight uh, tan hat that's got my wife's company on it that I would be wearing, you know, if I, if I wasn't on YouTube. And I also, you know, consider putting like a white t-shirt on. The lighter colors are going to reflect the sun. I know you guys have seen my water jug sitting on the front step. And, um, you know, the water jug works fine. Fill it with ice in the morning to keep it cold. But, uh, you know, sometimes um, the best solution is a one gallon jug of water. You can either put this in the fridge overnight or some guys will actually freeze it overnight and you bring it with you and as the day goes it, it, it uh, thaws out. And uh, a one gallon water jug like this, I mean I'll be down to two or three inches by the end of the day. And you can never really drink too much on a hot day like today. I'm sure you could, but it'd be pretty hard. And uh, you know, so you want to make sure you drink plenty of fluids, keep yourself hydrated make the time to take the breaks. And, and today I'm kind of feeling like I'm in a pretty good place. I'm pretty calm. Uh, I'm feeling better. I don't feel like I'm, I'm fighting an uphill battle. So hopefully I'll pace myself and, and take some drinks. You know, and I, I hate to say it, but uh, you know, if you get home at the end of the day and you go to the bathroom and, and it's a deep yellow, you didn't drink enough. Uh, the other sign you're not drinking enough is you'll start to get headaches by like mid afternoon. If you're not staying hydrated, you start to get these really horrible headaches and it's tough to focus and tough to think. And I know I've done that a few times. You're so focused on what you're doing, you forget to drink. So, you know, remember to stay hydrated because um, 
there's a saying I was reading a magazine years ago and it said you know just being just being out here and being in these conditions is a job in itself whatever you can do to to, to make it easier for yourself and make it better for yourself the better you'll be able to work that's about everything I know about um, working in the heat and I was you know I was talking to a friend of mine uh, just a few days ago who said that every year at this time of the year he don't he doesn't know what happens with his bids but the jobs always take longer and he, he can't figure out what it is and we were kind of talking about the heat and he goes well you know I think what it is is it's just it gets hot and you just don't move as quickly and I, I would have to agree one other thing I wanted to touch on uh, when it comes to working in, this, in the heat is to bring a few shirts with you. I'll usually bring two t-shirts with me on hot days. I'll actually bring more, just in case. Uh, I almost, uh, I wish I would just bring like a duffel bag with some extra t-shirts, uh, just in case. But what I'll usually do is if it's really hot out, come lunchtime, right before lunch, I'll go ahead and change my t-shirt so I can go sit in the shade in a nice dry shirt and be comfortable while I'm having my lunch, and then take that comfort after lunch. And then before I go home, I'll switch my shirt again so I have a nice comfortable drive home and you're not just like, you just can't wait to get home and, and get changed. You know, and don't be afraid to take the hose and hose off your arms, splash your face, whatever you need to do to cool off a little bit. But uh, the changing the t-shirt thing, I have not been doing on this job. Uh, it's just, with the, the camera and all, there's just so much going on here. But uh, I've been watching the videos at night and I'm absolutely soaked at the end of the day. And in a perfect world, I really would love to switch my shirt before I do my final summary so I look a little bit better and I know I feel a little bit better too. But uh, today I know I do have two different shirts, so maybe we'll see if, if my shirt color changes by the last video, that means I changed my shirt. So uh, don't forget that tip too. All right, let's get back to work.